Hello and welcome to part two of Cooking Under the Influence. If you already watched episode one, the chicken roulades are cooking in the oven as we speak. And I'm going to try and I'm going to start making pickles. That's what I'm going to start doing. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm going to use eight cups of water. All right, now you'll see me using a measuring cup, which I friggin' never do. And I'm going to do a cup of sugar. I know, no, what is this? It's not sugar, this is freaking salt. God almighty. Don't use sugar in your pickles. I guess you could if you're making sweet pickles. But it's pretty important to get the proportions right. And a cup and a half of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to make four jars of pickles. To make your brine. It's called brine, by the way. You use those proportions, double it, half it, three quarter, whatever. Do the math. I'm not gonna do it for you. Remember, what's this called? Brine. B-R-I-N-E. So this is exciting. We get to watch the pot boil. And we're gonna boil it, just let it boil. Alright, trying to make two videos at one time. I might get myself in a pickle. So, this is what you can do while you're waiting for your water to boil. <sighs> Don't get yourself in a pickle! That wasn't that funny. Get a clean brush. I just use this for scrubbing veggies. You should see the shit I edit out. That's really dull. Little bitty cucumbers. See? They're like pickle size. Get yourself some of these cool little Kirby pickles. Teensy little things. Not pickles, these are cucumbers. Scrub your cucumbers. This is one thing you might could do. Take your little brush, your little pickle. Oh, that really looks, that's really rude. Let's do it for children. You know, those poor children. If they see a pickle being passed through a brush, they may be damaged for friggin' life. Dinky little cucumbers all scrubbed and clean. Clean them because you want to get all the bad bacteria off. Because you never know, you know, some immigrant worker probably picked them and he had just wiped his butt in the field with no toilet paper or something. God forbid they see a pickle going through a damn brush. That was way too visual there. Oh, God. Kids are pretty, what are they? Resilient. They could probably handle brushing a pickle. Hmm. Jars. Here's just plain old mason jars. If you're reusing jars, sterilize them. Boil them in some water. When the pickles pickle, they grow lactobacillus bacteria, which is what you want. So we don't want them that sterile, I guess. I don't know. Frick, I don't know. I'm just making some goddamn pickles. You worry about the biology later. Putting them in the jar is actually the hard part. You can slice them if you want. I don't care. That's fine. One thing, though, I can fit six pickles in a quart jar. If you slice them, you know how many pickles you can fit in a quart jar? Six. Sometimes you got to jam them up in there. There you go. It does not matter the form is when you put them in the damn jar. You can fit six. One, two, three, four. Oh, these fit seven. Check it out. Okay, clearly I'm really bad at math. Like I'm taking this astronomy course, clor, course, astronomy course online. It's 75 degrees and sunny. Calculate the mass of the sun. This is all this math and shit. So unboil it, turn this shit off. The fuck was that? What? What? What do you want me to do? How about fucking no? While my water's just finished boiling, let's take some bay leaves. Put the bay leaves in there. Take a little bit of dill seed. Dill seed. Sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Old black peppercorn. Here's a weird 
A weird spice to use? All spice. Okay, usually use that in pies, but get nice fresh brigadil. Put that in there. All right, so that's still hot. Now we're going to let it cool down. Just let it get to maybe just above room temperature. Now, when you're making pickles, let's repeat these ingredients in each jar. God, I need a drink. This is too much freaking talking. God! Bay leaf. Put a bay leaf in each little jar. Put the allspice in each little jar. Dill seed. This whole black peppercorn. They're cheap. Oh, garlic. I forgot garlic. Jesus. All right, get a couple cloves of garlic. At least, at least one for each jar. All right, some garlic goes in the pot, and some garlic's gonna go in the jars. Peppercorns, going everywhere. Okay, great. Somebody, who I won't mention who it is, Grace, didn't believe that pickles are made of cucumbers. Okay, now she knows, because she loves my pickles. Okay, when I say she loves my pickles, um, that kind of sounded rude too. So children, you'll get over it. In the jars, same ingredients, dill. Here's a little sprig of dill. You're not a soap bubble. Remember kids, you can handle it. You don't have to just pickle cucumbers, you can make pickle freaking anything. Pickle okra, pickle beans, pickle artichoke hearts. Oh my God. Thousands of years of humanity have managed to succeed, even though kids were exposed to horrible atrocities. It's time for a refill. Lemon juice. Oh, shit. All over me. Why does citrus go everywhere but where you want it to? But I smell wonderful. Let's see, I'm doing the pickle video now. Okay. I'm trying to keep track. I'm doing two videos one freaking time. This shit, by the way, the chicken roulades was awesome. Go back and watch that video. Take your, uh, what's this stuff? Brine. And spoon it over the pickles. The pickles, they gotta sit for like three days, okay? Cover them up. Cover these things loosely. Lactobacillus bacteria can do their little fermenting job. So cover them away from the light. Let them sit for a few days. They turn into delicious pickles, which are so effing good. Here's some okra I did with the same technique, except I put some like cayenne pepper in there. Oh my god. Pickled okra. So good. Garlic, the vinegar, and the, the vinegar makes the garlic turn blue. I don't know why. Put them on a sandwich, eat them on the side. I don't care how you eat them. They're so freaking good. And if you're alone during the holidays, like that mouse was, and he decided to commit suicide, so we're just helping him on his way to get his wish, that's fine. If you're alone for the holidays, you can always watch more Cooking Under the Influences and cook yourself into a diabetic coma. Why not? Thanks for watching. Bon Appetit. And adios. Do you like pickles? Yeah.